at any stage, it will be available. But I want to pose this question. We are going back to the basics when we are dealing with the big currents. 90% of all the currencies in the world are not begged. They are begged in a perception, in a trust. Isn't it? But because of the cannibalization that has happened on our currencies, the perception that is created by those who want to exploit the 10%, those who would want to go on the black market, they created, if you look at the monies that trade in that space, it's very little. But the problem is the perception they then create. And that perception then drives the economy in the direction that you have not planned. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, I think the minister is done this at the right time. We cannot allow a disease to grow when the guy is about to be amputated. Then we decide to then look for medicine. It's better to deal with the signs, the telltale signs now. And I support that we deal with it and we take the word of the governor that the money backing our currency there is, there is not going to be more supply of, of, of zig in the market beyond what is being backed by our current, our US dollar which we have in our reserves our, our, our gold and other metals we are not going to have more they are going to balance the two in order to defend our currency so there is no need for anyone to be scared that this 10% will affect either the, the, those who are in, the, in business. And I think if I tell and listen well, people like CZI and many other people in business, they are really in support. They really want, in fact, if it was possible to move away from US dollar overnight without distortions, we could move. Because everyone would want to use our own currency. And no economy, no economy anywhere in the world has survived on a currency.